It's your boy Noto. Coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to discuss the biggest secret most women keep from men. If you're new here or you've already been here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead on and get into this topic, guys. See, there's a thing, guys, that... Women, there's a lot of things that women will never tell guys. Women will never show guys. And for the simple fact in the type of days that we're living in, a lot of things are not socially accepted these days. You see what I mean? A lot of things are frowned upon. A lot of things are looked at in a crude way. So most people would rather keep those things under wrap. And to expose it. So with that being said. One of the most. Biggest secrets. That women keep from most men. Is simply their sexual nature. Their sexual nature. Their true sexual nature. How they really really want to be. How they really. Want to expose themselves. To a, a man that they really want. And how they really want to express themselves sexually. Now, I've gotten this from a uh, shout out to uh, Rom Wills because he brought my mind to the attention of this. But I've been realized this a while back before I even began watching his videos because like. It's like, damn, it's, it's a whole different ball game. But the thing is, they won't really show anybody show most men. Simply because they will be judged. We live in a big, big bash culture. It's about bashing the modern woman, bashing this, bashing that. So any little thing they do, it seems like they always seem some, get some type of flack. They get some type of backlash. So who would want to really express themselves when all they're going to be subject, they're only, only going to be subjected to ridicule? Who wants to, who wants to do that? You got to understand, guys, women are human beings just like us. For all the men that's bashing all the time, saying, oh, she's this, she's being a thought, she's doing that or whatever. You act like we as men don't have fantasies, too. You act like me and we as men don't want to have sex as well. We want to have sex a lot. We have a high dr sex drive, but they have a high sex drive as well. And the thing is, I'm not, I'm, I don't understand why most men think that this is one-sided. As if like, oh, we're the only ones that should want to have sex and have these types of encounters and experiences. And they automatically put the women on the pedestal and just make them seem like they're some type of angels. When we're, we're the same way ourselves. That's the thing, like, it's just, it's like, it's like a double standard almost. It's like, it's almost hypocritical. And the thing is, that's what really plagues a lot of men these days, too. It really does that because, one, and it frustrates a lot of women these days. A lot of women are frustrated and sad and alone because of this. They're like, dang, I feel like I can't really express myself. So they'll really keep it secret. They'll really keep it hidden. And they only so select few dudes who they really are, the ones that can really handle it. And that's another thing, too. A lot of guys can't handle it, wouldn't be able to handle a, a woman's true sexual nature. And that is a that is a cold hard fact. A lot of men will will it will rock their entire world. It will change their entire belief system. See what I mean? When it feel like, oh, this angel could dare do this. This angel could be capable of this. You know what I mean? It's just like, just rather like sexual acts. They don't feel like, oh, she's a hoe because she does this. No, she's just a woman that has sexual desires. Just the same as we have sexual desires. We have sexual fantasies. So why is it such a big taboo when they have them? That's the thing. And, and, and it seems like they have to keep it from us because the majority of men are embracing this bash culture 
And the and the main reason is because a lot of the men don't want to look in the mirror. That's where it really comes from. They're getting rejected by a lot of these women because they don't want to look in the mirror. And now, instead of looking in the mirror and improving themselves and making themselves better and making themselves more of a select person, a person that they that would be selected by the type of women that they go after in a delusional manner, they'd rather bash the women that they can't get. And there's a lot of that going on. On top of the fact that they're living in a sexual in a, in a fantasy land of delusion, thinking that women don't want sex just as much as men, and it seems like it it'll turn their world upside down if they figured out what really goes through women's head, the sexual desires that they really have, thinking that oh we're the only ones that want to go around and do stuff. <laughs> they might top you. They most likely will top you. They will blow your mind. And a lot of guys aren't ready for that. A lot of guys aren't prepared for that. A lot of guys aren't willing to accept that. And that's what's going to plague them. That's what's going to keep them in that cave. And that's what's going to forever make a lot of these men continue to stay angry. Angry about what the women are doing always bashing the bash culture the black peeling and all this the incels and all that that's how that comes about it usually stems from rejection stems from finding out that a woman that they wanted or probably have been with that's not really showing them her true self end up catching her with another guy or something like that somebody that brought it brought it out of her somebody that she deemed worthy to show her true nature to and a lot of the guys are mad that they aren't that guy that's the main thing a lot of guys are angry and frustrated with themselves because they are not that guy and a lot of this stems from not looking in the mirror a lot of guys would rather point fingers, would rather blame, shoot blame. They would rather bash. They would rather ridicule. They would rather do all these other things instead of creating, addressing their elephant in the room, which is themselves. If they can't even get past themselves, how in the hell are they going to accept a woman's true nature? Which is what the women already know this. They already know this. And you know what? A lot of guys, a lot of you guys are disqualifying yourselves. Oh, yeah, you're self-sabotaging. You know how? Because as soon as you get out there bashing and start saying, oh, women should do this, women shouldn't be doing that, you're automatically disqualifying yourself from a majority of women. So they're going to treat you as such, and they're going to put you in a type of box that they won't ever expose themselves to you. So go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back for disqualifying yourself from even being able to have access to that. For her to, if, if she was even thinking about showing you even a tidbit of what it is. Because a lot of women will do that. They will test you. Just show you a little tidbit to see if you can handle it. Probably throw in a little few jokes or whatever just to see how you respond. And a lot of you guys fail that test. Y'all fail that test. So that is just as far as they will go with you. Now they see that they can't go that far with you. Okay, yeah. I'm going to leave him like that because if I show him anything else, he's going to judge me. So they're going to keep that. That's one of the biggest secrets that women will keep from most men, guys. One of the biggest secrets, guys. And the thing is, a lot of men will forever be in the shadows. Not in the good shadow, but in the shadows about a woman's true nature will forever be oblivious, will forever be in the dark about it because the woman will never expose it to these people, these certain types of dudes because of the way they are and the way the way their character is set up. Their judgmental character is self-sabotaging 
But anyway, it's your boy Noto coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, guys, remember, anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it. I'm out. Thank you.